What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about my Hatch portfolio. My name is Gifford and I'm new to investing. I've managed to get almost 150% gains from investing in the last seven months, but this has come at some major risks as I'm not exactly a safe value investor. Don't worry about all the blanked out numbers, I'll show all my gains and you'll know exactly all the four companies and the gains that I've got. This account is the largest of my three portfolios and I started seriously investing after June 2020. Just to be clear, I'm not rich and I have a 40 hour job per week here in Christchurch, New Zealand. And what I do is I save up the money each each week and when I go buy, I dollar cost average into each company. I taught myself how to invest through free content just like YouTube and also talking to other people about investing in stocks. And I definitely go and read it on Wall Street Bets to definitely have a look at the seriously funny memes. For each stock, I'll give a summary, who they are, what the cost basis is and what I plan to do in the future, whether I choose to buy, hold or sell of these shares. Also, my cost basis can seem high sometimes and that's because I dollar cost average into these companies. I don't have money on the sideline, I earn money as I go along and then I buy the companies at the right time. I'm certainly not complaining because these companies have tended to do well, so even though the cost basis goes up higher each week, I'm happy to have these companies because they're gaining pretty good. With that said, let's get on with the video and just to avoid confusion, I've got it in US dollars. So the first stock is none other than NIO Inc. Ticker symbol NIO. NIO is a startup EV maker out of China and they've had a massive run this year. I tend to do frequent videos of NIO through my stock market journey and I learn about them every week. And I have 200 shares and they're up by 178 at the time I took the screenshot. We've just had NIO day which was a hit and the stock continues to gain strength. NIO has no doubt been helped by Tesla because they're in the same EV sector. I first found the stock from a Facebook recommendation and a lot of people were talking about it. I then did my due diligence and I saw that they were very promising, so I decided to invest into them. Just while we're talking about due diligence, you should always do your own DD. It's not very smart that you trust other people with your own money. Just remember, this is real life, and you can't be affording to lose this money like this during this time. So my advice is don't be lazy and put the work in. Understand the company, because the people that recommend these, you don't know their situation. They could have a lot of money, or they might have backup plans, which they won't tell you. You won't know if when they buy, sell, or hold the stock. But back to NIO, they've done so well that they've become the majority of my portfolio. I've actually sold some shares, which I talked about in the previous video, but they still continue to do well, and I still see them continuing to do well in the future. However, personally, I think they're trading rich at the moment, and I'll just hold on to my 200 shares. I am excited to see what they'll do in 2020 as I know that ramping up their production will therefore increase their share price in the future. You just got to remember that they're still very young and they're a startup company. They've yet to scale up, which they're doing at the moment to try to get the volume out and hopefully this will raise the share price even more. So stock number two is none other than Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. So I first found out about Tesla at the start of June. They were all over the news that the stock price had doubled after the March crash. So I decided to look into Tesla and even though I thought they were expensive, I saw the potential there so I decided to buy half a share. At the time it's probably the equivalent of about $200 US and currently the price is about $850 US dollars. So as always you wish you wanted to buy more but I only started looking at the stock then and that's all the money I had anyway. But as you know, the rest is history because the stock went parabolic after the run. I currently own just seven shares and that's because they're very expensive and it takes me a while to save that amount of money up. I do keep investing in them because I see that they will grow significantly in the future beyond the automotive business. Tesla are up 26% of the portfolio and I'm up 111% on them. They have been included in the S&P 500 so I do see them as a more stable stock going forward. For me personally, this is a long term buy so I'm just going to be buying on the dips and dollar cost averaging as I always done with them. I will certainly have cash on the sidelines for significant dips in this stock. Going into 2021, they have two factories to come online, Cybertruck production, Model S, Palade, and also Tesla Semi to follow, as well as the Tesla Compact, which will spearhead the RoboTaxi network, and also more news of the solar business. Now the third company I have is Palantir, ticker symbol, PLTR and they're currently 17.7% of my portfolio. So this stock and the last stock are fairly new positions so I don't have very big gains in them. So I just have over 150 shares at $24.53 cost basis. I'm currently up $314 or 8.5% as of recording this. Palantir is a big data company who are involved in controversial work with the government. 
but I see them as having major growth in the commercial sector. They could have been bought as low as $8.90 and their 52 week low. So I've done an initial video of Palantir like I do with all my main stocks. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. So if Palantir has any more dips under $23, I will buy some more, but I also have shares in my ShareZ's account. Also, I've done a previous video on that. So if you wanna see how many shares I have, just I'll um, just check out my older videos or I'll put a card up in the corner. A dip in Palantir is also quite possible because we're still during the lockout period, but I hope that in mid-February that they have a good earnings with all these new contracts that I hope they can beat the analyst expectations and this will push the share price up. Show me the money. The fourth and last stock I have is a small position and it's also very new. It is Social Capital Holdings, but better known as ticker symbol IPOE, which is a SPAC company merging very soon with SoFi. Instead of explaining, let's hear from Chamath P. By the way, I'm not even gonna attempt his last name, but this billionaire is the person to take SoFi public. Chamath Palihapitiya announcing here on Halftime his latest special acquisition company will merge with the popular FinTech firm SoFi. You know that well, and take that company public. There's Chamath, he joins us now. Congrats, welcome. Hey, Scott, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Happy New Year. I know you as well, and I know it's a big day uh, for you. Why SoFi? Um, have you been targeting fintech for a while? How did this come together? Yeah, you know, a lot of the things that I do is try to look at back at some of the best investments we've made, like Amazon and Tesla, and try to find patterns. And in this, what I was trying to do was map those patterns into financial services just because we're at a point in time where it's clear that the banking infrastructure really isn't meeting the needs of U.S. consumers. And so what I did was just kind of systematically try to figure out what was broken in banking and then try to figure out which company was best representative of the solution that people wanted, which I can basically tell you is three things. People want low to no fees, they want fair and transparent lending, and they want a full suite of products so that you can basically have a one-stop shop. And SoFi basically was the top of the list when I, when I looked across all the companies on those dimensions. Well, moving on, I have 50 shares at $18.54 and up 21%. I'll be doing a more in-depth video on SoFi, but for now, the reason I chose them is this slide here where it shows they have year-on-year -year growth of 75%. And briefly describe SoFi as a one-stop shop to hold all your finances, make payments, and even buy stocks for the goal of making it really easy and simple for people to use. So currently, this portfolio is worth 22740 for US dollars, of which $11,126 is in gains. So quick word of warning, don't get confused on this screen right here because it's in New Zealand dollars. But if we move over to the totals, the portfolio is worth $36,087, including the $4,000 I have in cash, with a total return of $21,607, which is 149% returns. My target this year is to get this portfolio over 50,000 New Zealand dollars. So if you wanna follow along, feel free to subscribe. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, I know you're supposed to keep the money invested, but I have taken some profits and that's because I'm new to investing and it's really good to get those gains, but I've also done some home renovations and I'm currently going to build myself a brand new computer when the parts come in. So that's my hatch portfolio. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm also very excited to see where my investing journey takes me in 2021. The trading platform I use is Hatch Invest and Sharesies for individual company stocks and I also use InvestNow for index funds. If you want to start your own investing journey, you can use my referral links below if you're investing in New Zealand. For those that don't know me, my name is Gifford and I use this channel to document my journey as I try to figure out how to become financially free and share my knowledge with everyone. This series of videos is from the perspective of someone totally new to the stock market, so if I can do it, you can do it too. All I'm trying to do is to grow my portfolio and gain more assets. Therefore, it'll help me with my financial freedom in the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to follow this journey, Journey, feel free to subscribe. If you want to know how I found these earlier stocks with these gains, feel free to have a look at my older videos as I talk about them when I first bought them and I documented the whole thing. I also do videos in property investing and give information how you can calculate and buy your own home too. So feel free to check that out. Well, that's enough for me today. Thank you for watching. As always, safe investing and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.